The experts that care for you at Des Moines University Clinic are more than just clinicians. They're researchers, teachers, and mentors who are training tomorrow's healthcare professionals. Call today or visit dmu.edu slash clinic. Welcome to the Dermatology Club's presentation for the 50 and Better Fair 2020. While we are sad that we are unable to provide our typical skin exams, we are hoping to offer some good information about aging skin that may answer some of your questions or prompt you to schedule a visit with your provider. We are going to discuss common lesions that we can see with aging skin, both benign and malignant. Just a disclaimer, this is meant to be an informative presentation, but it is not meant to override any medical advice that you receive from your provider. If you are concerned about something, we encourage you to schedule a visit with your doctor. Our first common lesions are seborrheic keratoses, often called SKs. These are simply benign thickenings of the skin. They are a common sign of aging and can look very worrisome as they are often irregular in shape and color, but rest assured that these are entirely benign. They can range in color from tan to black, have a round to oval shape, and tend to be waxy or warty feeling to the touch. They appear stuck on and are often lovingly referred to as barnacles. Again, these are completely harmless and no treatment is necessary, although if you are concerned or bothered by these, consult your provider to discuss possible treatment options. Our next lesions are also benign and are called cherry angiomas. They get their name from the bright red cherry color that they possess. They are non-cancerous growths made of blood vessels that commonly show up after the age of 30. Once they appear, they typically stick around and will not go away on their own, but again, they are not worrisome. They are generally quite small, about the size of a pinhead. Most people will see these on their trunk, so chest, abdomen, and back, but they can occur anywhere, so it's not abnormal to see these on your arms and legs. Our last truly benign lesions are moles. Many of you are probably familiar with moles and may have a few or several. Moles can be macules, which are flat or flush against the skin, or papules, which are slightly raised. As you can see, moles can range in color from tan to dark brown. Moles should be monitored, and we can do this by looking at the A, B, C, D, and E's. A is for asymmetry, and think about hypothetically cutting your mole in half, and is it the same on each side? If so, that's good. B stands for borders. We want to look at our border. We want our borders to be regular, not jagged. C is for color. The color should be uniform throughout. We don't want any speckling or spotting in our moles. D stands for diameter, and generally moles should be less than six millimeters in diameter, although there are exceptions to this rule. And E is for evolution. Has your mole changed at all and how so? So we just wanna monitor our moles from the first time that we see them and how they have changed throughout their lifetime. So why do we need to monitor our moles or watch for these changes? Although rare, moles have the potential to develop into melanoma. This is dangerous because melanoma has the potential to spread to other organs if not treated early. Here we can see some examples of normal moles compared to melanoma. So 20 to 30% of melanomas are found in existing moles, which is why it's important to really monitor those A, B, C, D, and E's of our moles. Our next lesions are called actinic keratoses, often shortened to AKs. They are described as rough, scaly spots that just never really go away. They are often found on frequently sun-exposed areas, so face, lips, ears, back of hands. They are considered pre-malignant because if they are left untreated, a small percentage may progress to squamous cell carcinoma. Finally, we'll talk about the most common types of cancer we can see on the skin. Basal cell carcinoma is the most common type of skin cancer. It can present very differently. It can be a non-healing lesion as seen in the picture on the bottom left, a shiny papule, which is represented by the picture in the middle, or simply just a red patch. This is a very slow growing cancer and most are curable with minimal damage if treated early. Squamous cell carcinoma is the second most common cancer seen on the skin. This is what an actinic keratosis, which we talked about previously, has the potential of turning into if it is left untreated. This type of cancer can also be treated easily if caught early, but it has the potential to become invasive if left untreated, so it's highly recommended to have these treated. It may be hard to see in these pictures, but squamous cell carcinomas can typically have an overlying crust, 
with raised edges and a central depression. They can also bleed on occasion. This concludes our presentation and we appreciate you taking the time to watch it. We are disappointed that we were unable to see you all in person this year, but we hope that you are staying safe and healthy during these unprecedented times. Again, this presentation was meant to be informative only. If you have concerns about anything on your skin, please seek the advice of your healthcare provider. At Des Moines University's Family Medicine Clinic, our goal is to provide you with compassionate care that is comprehensive. From caring from children to the elderly, our medical team provides holistic preventative guidance on how you and your family can maintain a healthy lifestyle and manage any symptoms that may arise so that you can be at your best. During the current COVID-19 pandemic, maintaining your health as well as a safe lifestyle has never been more important. Our providers are here to help when acute conditions affect you or your family. We treat musculoskeletal injuries, infections, illnesses, and many other medical conditions. As an academic medical center, DMU is training tomorrow's healthcare providers on how to provide expert care to people from all backgrounds. We invite you to visit the Family Medicine Clinic at Des Moines University. We offer the care and attention you deserve. Thank you.